Beautiful landscapes and the possibility for play and adventure lure an increasing number of people into the backcountry each winter. Although recreating in the winter environment is rewarding, it can also be dangerous. Snow avalanches kill around 45 people in North America each year. If you enter avalanche terrain, your safety depends on your ability to understand and assess conditions on the slopes you plan to climb or descend. Avalanche terrain can be defined as snow-covered slopes steeper than about 30 degrees and any terrain underneath these slopes. In a simple sense, avalanche danger is a function of the size of potential avalanches and the possibility of encountering one. Safe travel in avalanche terrain involves understanding consequence. Large avalanches are obviously dangerous. However, small avalanches are also dangerous in terrain where we can be pushed over cliffs, banged into trees, or buried in depressions. The North American Avalanche Danger Scale is a tool used by avalanche forecasters to communicate the potential for avalanches to cause harm or injury to backcountry travelers. The scale consists of five ascending danger levels that focus on travel advice and provide an actionable starting place for your daily planning. The assigned avalanche danger applies only to avalanche terrain. Danger ratings cover broad areas in general terms, and it is your job to make slope-specific assessments. In general, when conditions are more dangerous, the places you can safely go in the terrain become more limited. Low avalanche danger does not mean no danger, but under these conditions, you can travel safely if you understand that there may be unstable snow on isolated features and in extreme terrain. Moderate danger means you need to have heightened caution and carefully evaluate or avoid areas in the terrain that are identified in that day's avalanche advisory. Under considerable danger, avoid avalanche terrain if you don't have the skills and experience to move through terrain carefully. Human-triggered avalanches are likely, and careful evaluation, route finding, and decision making are essential. It is prudent to avoid avalanche terrain on high and extreme days regardless of your experience. Your safe options in the terrain become limited to non-existent. Finally, remember that you control your own risk. For example, you can assume high levels of risk on a low danger day by choosing to enter consequential terrain. Conversely, you can minimize your risk on a high danger day by simply avoiding avalanche terrain altogether. The avalanche danger scale is a starting point in your daily planning process, but in the end, you are in charge and you make the choice. <laughs>